Hey guys, how are you all today? I promised that I was, well, I asked you guys if you wanted me to talk about dating over 50. So the last um, video that I posted at the end, I was telling you how I've met this young man and this older man in Schnooks and how they were very respectable and all of that. So let me tell you, dating over 50 is something else, you know, uh, but I've just heard dating in general is something else, right? Let me get comfortable. Uh. So dating in general is something else. And I've seen a lot of people on TikTok and Instagram and YouTube talking about how the dating pool is trash, right? And I'm like, is it really that bad? It, re it really is that bad. It really is. Um, I was going to have little notes and stuff so I can remember it, but I'm just going to kind of like freestyle this, right? Um, because I have experienced myself at this big age of 51 that everything is just rushed. Like, no one takes their time to do anything anymore, right? Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, I ate some onions and they gave me gashes. So, it just is so different. It's different from how I date. Now, I don't know how everyone else date, but me, myself, I'm not even dating at this moment because I am focused on other things, but I am open-minded to it. So when I do start dating, I'm dating for a purpose. I'm not dating just to be dating, right? Not at this big age of 51. I would like to experience marriage once because I've never been married. So I would like to experience that but if not I'm okay with it I'm okay with being by myself because I like myself I actually love myself I treat myself well uh, I uh, like nice things so I work hard for nice things I like to be pampered I pamper myself I date myself I do all of that so that wouldn't be a problem but at a very young age I knew that I may or may not get married now I have been proposed to several times in my life and have almost went through with it twice but then I looked back at it and I was like I didn't sign up for this this is not what I envisioned being with someone or marriage to be because he was giving me red flags prior to me marrying him and I put it like I called the wedding off. I did. I still got the the email, the contract, because I was going to have a pop-up wedding in Lafayette Square Park, and it was going to be on my daughter's birthday, June 17th, and uh, my birthday's June 14th. So, I'm like, we had paid the deposit. He had paid the deposit and everything, but it was some signs, like stop signs coming up saying, stop, Stacey, don't do it, red flags, all of that. And I'm so happy that I listened to myself because that marriage probably would have lasted maybe 30 days before I went and got an annulment, okay? It probably would have. Because I, I, I can't, I'm not going to put up with a lot of mess. I need for you to be healed when you come to me. I need for you to not be insecure. I need for you to be communicative. I need, need for you to um, not be violent, not be aggressive. In some ways, if, it, if, if it's aggressiveness in a good way, that's cool. But I need for you to be confident and sure of yourself as a man because I shouldn't, I shouldn't intimidate you. I need for you to be able to take rejection but a lot of times it's not even rejection, man. But I'll have a conversation with y'all about that another time. But, you know, this is just a broad spectrum. And women, I'm going to have a conversation with you all as well. But rejection is a part of life. So you have to know how to deal with it, right? Because you're thinking that you're getting rejected, but it's actually God protecting you. Because he already knows what you may be getting yourself into.
So don't look at it as being rejected. Look at it as being God is protecting you because this person is not for you. Just because you meet someone does not mean that that is that person, that is your person to be with. You know, and we got so many different factors. People don't even know what love is to be in love, but they know a lot about lust. They know a lot about lust. I'm the type of person to where I I am an intellectual type of person. So what you have, how you look, all of that, that really is not something that intrigues me. But how your mind works does. You, If you can catch my attention and you can get it, we make, we, we make and work this out, right? But anywho, when I do start dating, that man is going to have to learn me. He's going to have to figure that out because I'm not going to give you pointers on YouTube to try to come and approach me to try to date me. You're going to have to be the natural born hunter that God uh, made you because men are natural born hunters. Women, we are not. So stop going out there trying to seek these men, especially at this big age of 51 or dating over 40 or 50. But to my young women, you are the prize. To my old women, you are the prize. Women, we are the prize. So in order to get to the prize, they got to put work in, right? They have to put work in because guess what? Men get bored. They're not that complex creatures, really. They're not. Um, but you can't take that that uh, that that natural thing that God gave them to hunt. They like that cat and chase. You know, they like that that whole thing. But if you give in too soon, that wasn't a, you know, that it wasn't challenging enough, right? It wasn't challenging enough. So they're like, well, on to the next. Because I got what I wanted. I didn't even have to do too much in order to get it. Ladies, are you hearing me? I don't even have to do too much to get it. Uh, make it work for it. I always say that you can tell me that uh, you're going to do this and do that. Your mouth can see it. And I am in the show me state, St. Louis, Missouri, right? <laughs> City, St. Louis state, excuse me, Missouri. <laughs> so you got to show me because that's our thing here. We'll say, this is St. Louis. You got to show me. You can fix your mouth to say whatever you want to say. Does not mean that your mouth is going to be aligned with your action. See, I'm an action person. That verb, action verb, I need for you to show something. I need for you to make it happen. Because that's the only way that I'm going to believe you. Again, we can fix this mouth and say whatever we want to say. We can become whoever we want to become. And um, it could be all just a lie. And now you're wasting your time. Another thing that I want to tell you, ladies and men, this is just general. This is a general overview of it. Why are you in such a rush? Because that makes me think that you got, you're trying to give me something or what is it? I mean, is it a race or something? I want to know why you're in such a rush and you need to value your body. You don't give your body to anybody so quickly. Me, myself, I have a 90 day um, probationary period, just like a job has 90 day prob probationary period. Anything that's worth having, you're going to put time and you're going to research in it. If you go and buy a house, you're going to research and put time into that house before you just give people your money, right? A car, you're going to do the same thing. Even when you're job hunting or whatever, you're going to put time and effort into that. So why not put time and effort in a relationship? Wouldn't you think that that would be the most, you know, um, uh, beneficial uh investment because when you are talking about being in a relationship and you're spending your time and you're doing all of that you're investing in that person so that becomes your investment so you need to know if you're going if that's a good investment or a bad investment right are you going to be bullish or are you going to be a bear about it and that's like stocks that that's like finances or whatever because of a, a, the type of uh, person that's a bull they're going to go after it bearish they're kind of gonna shy away from it right but let's stay focused Stacey stay on topic okay so a job 90 day probationary period 
they can fire you at any time without giving you reason because guess what? It could be an at-will type of position, meaning that you can quit whenever you want to as well. Or, you know, they can fire you without any explanation because that is their trial period, right? 90-day probationary period. So why do you think the jobs came up with that? Why do you think, you know, drop some comments down below. Why do you think the jobs came up with that whole probationary period? I think, because I don't know, I'm only speculating because I wasn't there when they made that up, right? So I feel this way. They, they want to see if it's a good fit, right? They want to see if it's a good fit. If you are a good fit or asset to their company before they say, okay, we're going to rock with this person. We're going to roll with this person and we're going to start, you know, putting, um, we're going to start investing in this person, right? Because this person is a good fit for our, for my company, for us to grow, for us to build. That's how I look at it, right? That's how I look at relationships as well. Why would I invest all of my time in you and you can't even go 90 days without being genuine? And I say 90 days because everybody is actors and actresses, right? When they first get in a relationship, but you can't keep that up for too much. 90 days, trust me, this works. I have did this in so many uh, relationships that I have had to where that's how you kind of weed out the ones that you know it's just wasting time. You don't have time to be wasted, especially at this big age of 51. I don't. I really don't. I didn't have time back then. But you pretty much know that a person can't keep up their front because eventually they're going to show you who they are. They bring their representative to the relationship, but that representative is going to go back to who that person is because they're only there for a short time. They're not there for a long time. So therefore, I believe, you know, and they say, well, Stacy, you know, this is not, you know, back in the day. Well, maybe some things need to come back in the day because it's not working. These situationships or whatever you all are calling them now, they're not working because you're doing everything that you would do in a long-term relationship in a matter of weeks, maybe day, days, weeks, maybe months. I don't even think sometimes it gets to a month because people are coming up to you talking about they want to be exclusive and they don't know you from Adam. They are a total stranger, right? And they was like, well, I want to be exclusive. What makes you think that you want to be exclusive to me? What makes you think that you hold that right to become exclusive with me when you don't even know me? I can be a serial um, I don't know if I can say that on YouTube, but you know, I could be a serial K, right? And you don't know nothing about me. And then when things start happening, you'd be like, well, I didn't know. Well, no, you did not vet that person. You don't know who that person is. So why would you give everything? You're all, pour your all into this relationship that's just now blooming. It's still a bud. It has not had the nourishment and the patience and the love in order to become a full-blown flower, right? So why would you put all of that in there? Because if you know if you water a plant too much, it's going to die. That's how it is with the relationships. If you give it too much too soon, it's going to die. So all I'm saying is that you would think at this age that men get it. And women, but they don't. And I'm just like surprised. And like when I was telling you guys about that young man, his parents was whoever, they're teaching him what doing a great job, doing a great job. Because you got to get to know someone. And me and I always say, well, I don't want to be in the friend zone or whatever. But you know, the friends make some of the best relationships because they know everything about you. You all have spent that time with one another. You all have communicated. They've seen you at your best and at your worst. And you have confided into them or whatever. So they're safe. They feel safe and comfortable around you. So those make the best relationships. And me and stop thinking because a woman tell you no or I'm not interested that it's something about you because it's not again you need to understand that people go, people are going through all type of things in life or whatever and if that person is telling you 
that I am going through things at this time. And I want to just, I don't want to take it out on you because I may be having a bad day. I may be feeling a certain type of way and I don't want to take it out on you. So I don't, I choose to just focus on this because I'm so overstimulated, stimulated and overwhelmed that I can't be able to multitask having a relationship and dealing with what I'm dealing with at this particular time. So you need to respect that. And, and don't think that they're trying to say, okay, well, you're not good enough. A lot of men, I've heard a lot of men, they, they feel that, you know, you rejected me. I had this one guy tell me, you rejected me four times, Stacey or whatever. I was like, I never thought that I rejected you. I told you the truth. I was in a relationship when you tried to meet me. Now, when you tried to get with me. So I was not going to jeopardize what I had, whether it was good or bad. To be in a relationship with you i need to resolve that relationship first so i was being honest and men don't like for you to be honest either ladies they do not and i'm like so he held that i had another guy to tell me uh you what he say he said you um i i heard him like i don't mess with him because he had told me how he felt or he had offered something and i really was taken back and i didn't know what to say so I was like, uh, I didn't really say anything and I kind of like skipped over because I was uncomfortable because I never knew. So communication is the key. You gotta have, you gotta actively listen. You gotta ask the right questions. If you want to be with that person, because it takes time to build that relationship. It takes time to build that friendship. Women stop telling men everything about every man that has ever hurt you. Okay. Why would you give them ammunition to use against you at a later time? Why? Stop telling men everything that you want in a man. That He got to figure it out. Because guess what? If you tell him all of that, now he knows the playbook. So he's going to become everything that you said that you wanted because you just told him. Make him work for it. He needs to work for it because he's a man. He needs to work for it. Okay. And it's just so crazy to me because I'm saying this, but a lot of men in there that's over 40, what is it? I don't know. It's going backwards or something. And then you got some of the ladies that's um, wanting to go back to being young. And I'm like doing all of these things or whatever, you know, and I'm like, why would you put yourself out? And I'm not going to just beat up on the men. The ladies... Ladies, you got to do better. You got to do better. You can't be really aggressive and want a man because who going to wear the pants? Like, really, you can't be a woman one day and then the man. I can understand it if you're single because we have to take on those roles. But if you're in a relationship with a man, you got to know how to sometimes to shut this up. This right here, right? You got to use discernment and you have to know when to speak and when not to speak. Sometimes you don't even have to speak. If you're in tune with that man and he's, you know, he's acting up or whatever, or he's upset. I'm not going to, he's upset. You have everything within you to tone it down without you going back and forth with him, without you cursing him out, without all, with any of that. Trust me, I've done it. They can be so irate, but I, you can calm it down. And just like with a man, a man, when a woman is popping off at the mouth and she's doing this or whatever, you don't have to, you don't have to hit her. You don't have to do any of that. And women, you don't hit either. Keep your hands to yourself. Okay. You, a real man knows how to deal with a woman that is upset. You don't have to put his hands on her. He can look at her in a certain way. He can speak to her in a certain way. And all of that, all of that anger, whatever, is just relinquished. It is gone. It is gone. But you gotta, you have to be a man in order to know how to do it. Or you have to be willing to learn how to do it as a man. If you want your wife, your girlfriend, or whatever to work out. You have to be able to do that. And it's it takes time. Like, I'm saying this now because... I didn't know all of this, a lot of this when I was younger, you know, because I was like pop off and all of that. I'm not doing all of that anymore. 
I'm not going back and forth because I, you see this, it's peaceful. You don't hear anything. It's peaceful. I like my peace and I'm going to protect my peace at all times. So if we cannot have a, a disagreement or we we cannot have a, a agree to this, we're going to agree to disagree. But we, we're not going to always agree on certain things and it's okay. It is okay. What's not okay is for you to be going around calling one another out their names like totally disrespecting one another that b word is one of those words that i just can't come back from if you ever call me that because i think that is so disrespectful man or woman i don't play about those b words you keep those b words in them vitamins vitamin b12 b6 b nat keep those b words over there don't address me with that because you'll see a whole different side of me and I will totally leave you alone. Like, I will totally cut you off. I don't play that. Friends, I, I had to tell some um, girlfriends of mine that I don't know how y'all play, but don't call me that B word, okay? Because then we don't have a serious problem because I, I won't deal with you at all. That is so disrespectful to me. And we need to learn how to respect one another to communicate effectively in order to listen. You can't listen to someone and have a resolution or resolve a problem if you're both yelling and talking at one another. Someone has to, you have to be able to hear what that person is saying, comprehend what that person is saying, so you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to reply in an appropriate manner. You know, it's not okay for you to hit people when you're upset. I used to, and I had to learn that. I tell my kid, don't do that. If you don't want to get hit, don't put your hands on nobody, okay? I don't care if you're a male or a female. Women, stop putting your hands on these men, okay? If he wants to go, let him go. Let him walk out the door. Let him calm down. Don't try to hold, you know, hold him back because you may get popped upside your head. And you don't, you know, it's not necessary. It's just not necessary. And at this age, I'm not doing any of that. But dating has really changed. The last relationship I was in... It was a very, I'm not going to say it was a very good relationship, but it was more pros than cons with this man. This man taught me how to be calm. When he told me um, not to worry about it, I didn't worry about it anymore because I knew he was taking care of it. I didn't have to step outside of my relationship because he was providing pretty much everything that I needed, right? So our relationship we we had we were very communicative and i told him what i expect what his expectation was of me and mine of him so i kind of like did that at the beginning right because so we wouldn't have any type of it wouldn't be misconstrued and in, in uh, misconstrued in any type of way and i'm gonna tell you that was one of my better relationships you know and we 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 broke apart because we know why we broke apart we don't have to tell anybody else but he had my back and I had him. We was a team, you know. We were a team. Because he was a reflection of me. You know, how do you say that you love someone when you're calling them B's and H's and all of that? Because that's not showing love. That's not showing love at all. But women, date yourself. Learn how to date yourself. Take yourself out. Get dressed up. I do it all the time. Get dressed up. Take yourself out, you know, pamper yourself. Do That's why I say self-care Sunday. Learn how to do that to yourself. Stop needing and wanting uh, acceptance and validation. And my sister did something about um, daddy issues or whatever. A lot of women do have them. But you can't look for that daddy figure in a man because that's two different relationships, right? A daddy's relationship is different and that love is different than how you would love your man right so that's separate so we need to separate that right separate it another thing and i tell this to men and women i date multiple men at one time and oh boy yeah every time i say that i'm gonna pause because y'all like oh yeah i date multiple men at one time and i'm gonna tell you why i don't sleep with multiple men at one time. It, back in the day, we used to call it courting, right? No one courts anymore. No one courts anymore. 
uh the lust is so strong i like her she got a big butt she got this she got that he got this he got that and boom just right on to it don't know who you laying down with don't know who you entertaining none of that but i date more than one man and me get so upset when i say that and i'm like why are you upset and they were like because you know i do it one at one i said well how is that working for you because see i don't know if you used to look at those old movies but i love uh old movies and i think what was the one called uh bridgerton right Brid bridgerton so you see how the ladies when they get ready because they're getting married so they go to this big ball they get all fancy or whatever and then they're dating they're they're dancing with different men through there you know and the men are like well cut me in and like can i take her or whatever and they're still trying to court so she may have a date with one man and then the next date or whatever because guess what it is narrowing it down to see who is going to be the one with initiative that's just going to go and hunt and who's going to be the better fit for her so then guess what you do the pros and cons list right so well i like james but you know trevor you know he does this or whatever so you you do that it's that balance beam right balance beam so you if the pros outweigh the cons then maybe that's the person for you but there's nothing wrong with dating them there's nothing wrong with being upfront with it and telling them because i'm very honest and I, i'll tell them i date multiple men if you can if this is something that you cannot handle i am not i give people options i am not going to feel any type of way whether you want to stay or you want to go because i believe in giving people options right so again i'm not for everyone and everyone is not for me and that is okay that is your preference it's totally fine does not mean that you this and you that or whatever but it does um kind of narrow down who may be the best candidate for you or who may be that person for you so because if you go and you put all your your eggs in one basket with this one person and you months later you find out that it is not your person now your heart is broken now you got to go back in and do it all over again so why not just do it date multiple men you're not really getting your feelings attached until you have said that we're going to be exclusive it is levels to this you just don't go all the way in you have to court that person you have to date that person because the more you know about them and the more you you're interacting and you're uh you're feeling out how they are when they're upset or how they are when they're happy or whatever so you you're getting to learn this person right because this is going to be your person so you have to put the time and the effort in there and the research but you know you can start off with like five men and you may narrow it down to three and you'd be like okay so you're going on dates and then or and or women you know and you're going on dates and then you like okay well something else happened so that x that person out now you got two to decide from and then you pick from that too okay this is my person this is my person because this person does this 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 and this but men always get mad when i say that but this applies for women as well because men you need to do this as well when it come down to uh women until you have actually had that conversation that we're going to be exclusive then it shouldn't be any hard feelings i had this one guy to tell me that i told him that i dated multiple men and he told me he was so upset he was like that what do you mean i, I only do one-on-one -on -one. i said well that's good for you but i don't do it that way you know and i told him uh he was like so you tell me this if we go out on a date and we have a good time and we just we kicked it off and everything is wonderful and all of that um and, and, and we feeling one another and all of that everything's going smooth you mean to tell me the next day you're going to go on a date i said well in order for me to answer that question i need to ask you this question and he was like no 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 i said no because this it, it, i have to ask you this question in order for me to give you the proper answer so he was like okay so i told him during that time that we was hanging out and we was having you know a good time or whatever did this topic did did we have a conversation about um are we going to be exclusive or we are are we coming together to say okay we want to take this further i'm feeling you you're feeling me you know i want we want to be able to see more of one another we want to make this official that we're going to be exclusive and it's only going to be us 
Because if we didn't, I'm going on a date. Mm -hmm. I'm going on a date. I may have another one that, th that Thursday or Saturday. I'm going on that date until we have that conversation. Because I told you it's levels to this, right? It is levels to this. You cannot assume, women, us two, you cannot assume that this person is going to be that person for you, ex exclusive, until you have that conversation. You got to have that conversation for her. You can't just be saying, okay, well, in my mind, we've hung out and this, there, and other. We could have hung out and kicked it and all of that, but then we have that conversation. So we need to have conversations. We need to be social. You know, we lack, it, 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 America, it lacks social skills, especially since the pandemic. You, how are you going to get to know someone through texting? I hate texting. I hate to anybody that know me know I hate texting because I think it is so inappropriate to be trying to build relationships and all of that and to start, you know, I don't do dating sites or whatnot like that because I, it's too much sex, sex well, it's too much S A going on or S T going on or whatever out here. And it's just, you really have to be careful, but you need to know your worth. You know, women, we are the prize. Know that. We are the prize, okay? You have to. Me and I need for y'all, to a lot of y'all to start going to therapy. Because you all are holding stuff in that needs to come out. And that's the way, and, and that's the only way you're going to have a good life. And you're going to look for, you're going to be able to choose and to pick better women. Because you say women, but how are you picking them? Are you, are you worried about quantity versus quality because a lot of you all are worried about quantity it's not quality you know so you have to really be communicative and have a, a conversation but ladies every time i get on this app or other apps you're talking about how you did everything for this man and that is the problem stop doing everything for these men they are men they are men. They are the providers. You're not supposed to be doing all of that. You're not, especially, and especially if you ain't no wife. You show sure bet not be doing all of that or whatever. You don't go all out. You don't pour your all into it. Because I wish I had a cup. I wish I had a glass or whatever, right? And I would show you guys that if we both got glasses and it's half full, but I keep pouring and pouring into you to where I'm depleted, I don't have nothing left, who's going to fill me back up? Who's going to come and save me? Who's going to rescue me? Are you going to pour back into me? Or are you just taking from me? Right? You just take to where I'm completely depleted. So you got to love self. You know, this dating things, but these younger, a lot of these younger men are doing way better than these older men. You know, you have to be open-minded because everybody's relationship looks different. No relationship is going to be the same. Everybody' uh, relationship looks different. So you're going to have to be able to talk to that person. I didn't say yell. I didn't say curse. I didn't say fuss or fight. I said talk. Excuse me to that person. So I want to keep having these conversations. If you guys want to keep hearing these, having these conversations with me. But I just thought that I would say that because it's trashy out here. It really is. And a lot of women are opting to be by themselves because they just don't want to go through all of the foolishness. It's just so much. And then they, I hear a lot of love bombing. These men say this or whatever. And then once they conquer, then they gone. Because they too easy. Women stop doing all of this stuff for these men, okay? Never, never love that man more than you love yourself or that woman more than you love yourself. Don't do that. It's not going to work. Don't do that. You are the priority. Women, let these men be men. Stop buying them everything. Stop doing it or whatever. That's not your place. A man is a provider. A man is going to take care of what he loves. Trust me. He's going to take care of what he loves. I'm going to tell you one thing. I told, well, you all know that I'm going through my journey with, uh, I can't work right now. Uh, because uh, I'm still going through physical therapy or whatever. I think I went back to work too soon and I probably injured myself more than I uh, knew. And uh, so this is going to be a journey for me. 
And I met this young man and he was like, I asked him this question. Because I'm like, you know, right now I got so much going on that I just need to pour into that, right? I, my body, you know, is hurting. I'm on muscle relaxers, all of that or whatever. So I just really don't have the time or, or you know, to focus on anything else or whatever, not at this moment. But that wasn't saying that it was a total no, it was a rejection. It was just saying just not now. And a lot of men think when you say that, that, oh, you're, you're rejecting me. You're making me feel some type of way. And it's not. And I need for me, I need for you all to stop doing that because you are losing out on a lot of good women out here. And, uh, you, you, it's unnecessary because that's not what it's saying. Right. Me and I need for you to be more open. I need for you to show a little bit more vulnerability. Right. And, Please, anybody, do not ever get into a relationship if you are vulnerable. Do not trauma bond with that person, okay? Do not trauma bond with that person. Because the only thing that you all have in common is that you both are going through trauma. Or y'all trauma is related, okay? Don't do it. It's not going to work. Because when you heal from that trauma, then you're going to be like, why, why was we even together? Stop trauma bombing. Stop love bombing. Stop doing all of that or whatever. But I'm telling you, a man will take care of what he loves. It don't care about if your hair is all the way down to your back. If you got a big behind. If you have big uh, tatas or whatever. None of that works. It's about that person and how that person makes that man feel. Because they're really kind of simple creatures. It's not a lot, you know, that they need or whatever. And I'm going to tell you, this guy told me. And I told him, I said, why would you want a woman? that is um that cannot work and that is not working and you know what he told me he said you not having a job doesn't matter to me because it's not gonna stop me from work my money he said you not having a car does not matter because i have a car he said i want you i don't care about anything else or whatever i want you that's not i, I don't care about what your status is any of that or whatever I want you. So women, and stop telling these men what you do for a living. Stop it. Stop it. Shh, be quiet sometimes and listen, okay? Because men, they really not worried about what we do. Some of them, because you got some that are opportunists out here. Let me, let me say that because a, a real man is not going to care about that. He's not going to care about that. But these opportunists will. And men for the same thing, they're they're going to care. You know, if they just trying to do you wrong, whatever, they're going to care. But yeah, I hope this helped. But uh, drop some comments if you have some questions. I am more than, um, I am more than uh, open to uh, share this platform to to have a conversation about it because I think it needs to really be addressed. I think it needs to have a conversation because that's when you start healing and mending. And then you can, you know, um, me and some of those broken wounds or whatever, those wounds that have been cut so deep to where you're just broken and you don't know where to begin. Uh, so let me know, drop some comments down below. I'm willing to, you know, I'm opening up my platform to answer questions because it is becoming such a problem and I want to see women and men interacting with one another or whatever. You know, I want them to interact in what, what, so they can teach our young children because our young children really don't know. They really don't know. And you can see it in their behavior. You got a select few that got it and, you know, their parents or whatever have taught them or they've learned on their own. But men that's over 40, get it together. Because these young men are like showing y'all out. Like, seriously. I'm not a cougar. I don't date young men like that. Uh, Not that young. I don't date them uh, very, very young at all. They have to be within my era that I grew up in. Like, um, where we can relate to things. It cannot be uh, 10 years and all of that or whatever. We can That's just way too much. Because I don't feel that we have anything in common. Because we want... You know, we wasn't in the same era. We cannot relate to, you know, uh, historical things or, you know, just life, period. So, and that's just me. That's me. I don't know about nobody else, 
my mom actually like older men. I, I don't. I don't like men that's real, real old, older than me. Let me say older than me. Not, or old senior citizen. I don't. Mm -mm. But I hope this topic, you know, uh, got you all to be enlightened and open up your minds or whatever. So just let me know. Because I promised that I said uh, that I was going to do this, say this. And I think so many more conversations need to be ha had so we can start healing. So we can get back to how it was. Because we're so broken. We're so broken. And I don't understand it. I don't. But a lot of women are opting to just not date because they just don't want to deal with the foolishness. You know, so drop some comments down below. Let me know how you feel about things. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Life and with Stacey C. It is totally free over here, okay? Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. But let's have let's make this an ongoing conversation, right? It doesn't have to be all the time, but you know, if you feel or if you're going through something or if you feel now I'm not gonna become nobody's therapist because I'm gonna send my cash out then, okay? I'm not gonna do that because I went to therapy. I'm healed, okay? Find you somebody that's healed, but I'm just saying, just and women, oh, before I go, stop telling these men where you live at when you just meeting them or bringing them to your home your home and especially if you got children your home is supposed to be your haven your safe haven and their safe haven this is not 7-eleven a quick trip or whatever the, the doors do not revolve okay they're not open revolving doors or whatever those people those men that you're dating you need to date outside of your household you don't need to bring them in they don't need to meet them with them like six months or whatever because that is precious cargo your children are precious cargo so don't be bringing all these different men into these babies lives or whatever okay or into your children's life date outside you know have him to go and meet you at a restaurant or whatever until you feel somewhere that's public and open until you feel safe enough to say okay well again those conversations we're going to have those conversations i i see this in you and i want to you know do more i want to you know, have something more exclusive. That's when you start introducing children because these are precious cargo. Don't do that because you're damaging your children. Don't do that. Um, and then you're, you're putting their lives at risk along with your own. So don't bring these men back to your house. Date them on the outside. Date them, you know, don't be going to nobody's house too soon either. Date court okay so that's all i gotta say for now life and with stacy c hit the notification bell so you know when my videos come and until next time guys take care of yourself don't forget to subscribe okay Mwah. love you guys